Hey gremlins, been a long time since I used that intro. Today, as you may have noticed, I have a small hat on my head. And I don't mean small as in size, I mean small as in it's not the right size for my head. Anyway, this is a silk top hat. Yes, just like the one from Frosty the Snowman. And funny enough, it collapses just like an old top hat might. My mother got this from an antique shop. And as you can see on the inside, it's slightly banged up. I will be showing you a little on the interior in a minute, but yes. My mother wishes for me to use my sewing skills to make this a bit better of a top hat. And I'll see what I can do. So, let's get into it. A lot of the damage on the hat is fairly minor, with the band going around being the main part that needs to be fixed. Along with the brim that needs to be sewn down again, the top of the hat looks pretty good. See, the brim is like pulling up. We need to pull it back down and sew it in place. On the inside, there are these tears on both sides of the head. And then these nasty gashes, which I soon figured out was because the metal was poking through when it wasn't supposed to be. Other than that, there's a little bow that needs to be stitched back in place, which is very easy. Another gash, which was fixed in time. And lastly, a small bit of restitching for the front. My silk needle is elsewhere. Damn it. I'll be right back. Now, why was my silk needle inside of a tin? I don't know, but I knew it was there. Starting on the inside little lining part, I did my best to start it off well, but I had to go back and do a whip stitch. I wasn't very good at the starting out, but I got better. With the lining done, we're going to move on to the brim. You can see me here trying to force it into place. I try and make it stay later with pins, but it's flimsy at best. Using a whip stitch once again, I'm trying to stabilize the broom in place. If you have any idea how to refinish a top hat, let me know, because I clearly don't. 
I am what I like to call an untrained professional, if that makes any sense. Heading to the inside of the hat, I'm going to show you how to get that thing straight. Because that's what it's supposed to look like. Very flat and not protruding at all. But first, let's take care of this little brim band, shall we? Now, to get the inside piece straight, you're gonna fold down the hat, pull all the fabric back, and try and pull this out. You're gonna wanna go from the root of it, which, it, which should be near the bottom. Once you're able to straighten it out, like so, make sure there's no bends in it, and if there are, try and bend them back as straight as possible. Now, to put it back in, just bend it and make sure it goes into the top part of the hat. Like that. That way you can... I make sure it's along the seam in the top so I can feel it real easily and it falls straight line. Now I found that it likes to move around if you bend it a couple times, so I'm going to stitch them out in place to keep from moving around. You're essentially going to sandwich the little pole in there with some thread. So you're going to go up one side with thread, then you're going to go back down the opposite side with the same thread a couple times and you'll be done. With that complete, now we must turn the hat upside down and get to the real guts of this video. <sighs> the mending portion of the inside. For mending the holes, I chose to darn them instead of to patch them. Purely an aesthetic choice on my part, it would have been a lot easier to put a patch over these instead of to darn them, but I apparently like pain, and it was good practice. 
Nonetheless, if you wish to put a patch over your hole, by all means, go for it. It's much easier than darning. Believe me. Now, I tried to record a lot of the video, but it was just so hard working in such a small space for such a long time. And I spent all day on this hat, and by the time I was done, my fingers were hurting, and whew, that was a long while to be sewing those darning patches. And it was not fun, I'll tell you that. With one hole darned, it's time for the other. Yay. Anyway, this is the finished product. The culmination of sewing all day long and bruising my tiny fingertips. But it's done, and I can be proud of it. The inside is very nice, I feel. The lining layer is very... It, it's put together, at least. The brim is adequate, and the patches on the inside are darned adequately. Nothing too fancy, but it's mine. I did it. As I said, I am an untrained professional, <laughs> but it's done. So yay.